Hey everybody, last time we were taking apart a battery pack. These batteries originally came from a Smith electric truck that a friend and I got from a auto salvage auction. And now I'm going to be installing these in a Ford Ranger EV. This truck is running on 26 lead acid batteries and these valence batteries are basically drop in replacements for 12 volt batteries. Uh, they're the same width, except they're about two inches longer, but that couldn't possibly make a difference, right? Ah, it doesn't fit. That two inches makes a difference because the wheel well for the tire here. Gosh darn it. I'd have to arrange the battery slightly differently to get all 26 to fit, but first I'd need to get the rest of the lead out. I know lithium is lighter than lead, but it's still so much work. Although I can carry the lithium over the side of the truck, I had to go around to the end for the lead. So that's something. Certainly this is tiring, so putting the batteries in, I wanted to make sure to arrange them in such a way that all the terminals were close together, as I had lots of short battery cables, but not as many of the long ones. All these cables are repurposed from the Smith Electric truck. I also really had to watch uh, the battery polarity because it, it was actually easier to lose track of than you think with that uh, offset staggered row of batteries there. I ended up having to spin one battery, which meant moving all the others down. So these batteries are rated at 12.8 volts each. There's 26 of them in series, meaning I've got a system voltage of a little over 330 volts DC. The batteries are rated at 138 amp hours each. So in theory, that'd be uh, almost 46 kilowatt hours of energy, but these are not new batteries. So based on some testing of a few of them, um, I think they're at about 85% of their original capacity. So that means what we actually have is probably about 39 kilowatt hours of energy. Now, as just a best guess, I think this truck is going to use around 400 watt hours per mile. That's just based on uh, knowing the efficiency of some other vehicles and the fact that this truck is uh, older and it's a truck, not a car. But if it had a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack at 400 watt hours per mile, that would mean a 100 mile range per charge. Now, of course, that would be uh, using the full capacity of the battery pack, and I still don't have quite the proper BMS set up yet. I'm going to reuse the valence BMS from the Smith truck, which should balance the cells, but it's not connected to the truck's charger, so I'm going to use the new generation star tester to make sure to keep an eye on my voltage. As for the total amount of energy going into the battery pack, I'm going to keep track of that with the watt hour meter on my EVSE. With lithium batteries and a fresh charge, I was ready to take the truck out and range test it for the first time under lithium. One of the interesting things is that the miles remaining gauge on this truck only goes up to 60, but I'm pretty sure we can probably do better than that. Uh, one of the first things I did was take the truck out to a local car show, which was kind of fun to show off this truck that, other than the lithium batteries, was essentially stock and does feature collector's plates. I drove about 40 miles during the day, but the distance to empty gauge still read that I had 50 miles of range to go. The next day I hopped in the truck to do some further joyriding. Of course I uh, used the instrumentation in the new generation star tester to track as much data as I could, but mostly I was just driving around not too terribly far from home, uh, so that even if my pack voltage was dropping quickly, I'd still be able to get home. I was tracking mileage on my trip odometer and snapped a few photos as I was driving. I had to stop and take a photo at 65 miles because my Mitsubishi iMeve is only designed for about 60 miles of range, so already the truck can go further than my 2012 factory-built lithium electric car. After that, I just kept driving and the truck just kept going. 70, 75, 80... 90, and yes, I broke 100 miles on a single charge. 
So far, I've been pretty impressed with what the truck can do, but I also wanted to get it up to the MREA Energy Fair, which is well over 100 miles away, and the truck does not have fast charging capabilities. You can find out more about this in the next episode, so please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time, stay charged up.